And the bottom line here is whether you want to stay for 10 years or whether you want to stay wanna, for six months, excuse me, excuse me, friend, um, we need to find a formula that takes care of the well-being of our soldiers and our Marines. And there is no, there is no operational policy that, we can that justifies what we've been doing. The, the, tradi the traditional operational policy has been if you've been gone for a year, you get two years back. We're now in a situation where the soldiers and the Marines are having less than a one-to-one -one ratio, and somebody needs to speak up for them rather than simply defending what this president doing. When they re-enlist in the highest numbers anywhere you know, else in the this military, is one thing I really, speaking, this is one thing I really take objection speaking, to is politicians who, let them win. At the, what, let them win. They who, want to win. Speak, let them win. It's politicians who try to put their political views into the mouths of soldiers. You can look at poll after poll, and the political views of the United States military are no different than the country writ large. Go take a look at the New York Times today. The soldiers, Less than half of the military the, believes that we should have been in Iraq in the first have you place. Been you know, to have, you, have you ever times. been to these? I've been. I've, I've covered two wars as a course. Have you been to Iraq? I have been to Afghanistan. Have you been to Iraq and have you been to Iraq and talked to the soldiers? You know, you haven't been have to Iraq. Have you ever been to Iraq? I've been there seven you know, you times. Know, it, you go see the dog and pony shows. That's I've what, been there uh, as that's a what do. I have been there yeah, and I'm have, going back have, in August. I've been uh, a well, member of the military I'll, when the well, senators listen, come in. Something we can agree on. We both admire the men and the women in uniform. I don't Don't put patriotism. political words in their mouth. I, you know, my election, doing, I'm up for all elections. Every Republican who's supporting this position is doing against the You know, you sit on the floor. Let them win. This is not about my election, my friend. This is about the you said, you said on the floor this week. The troops are not Let the problem. Let them win. The troops you can know? win. Thirty-five percent of I've, the United I've, States military agrees with the policy I've, of this president. Well, why By do poll. they keep reenlisting? Why do they go back? Because it's not the they problem. love their country. No, because they because know they Because they, they love can, their country. And they, they do not do it for political reasons. Believe me, my family's been doing this since the Revolutionary yeah, well, War. So, so is my they family. do it for polit They do it because they love their country because they have a tradition, and it is the responsibility of our national leaders to make sure that they are used properly. In conclusion, I think they go back because they see the face of the enemy that we're fighting. Well, they don't the want polls, their Lindsay. kids to go back. Instead they of, don't want their grandkids the, the, to go the, the back. Seven or eight people they bring ben Laden said when this is the third world war visit. in Iraq. They go back because they know the consequences of losing. God bless them, and let's make sure they can win because they can. I'll let them judge what you said. Yeah. To be continued. Thank Senator you. Lindsey Graham, Senator Jim Webb, thank you very much. Good thank tell. you.